Hello. Great day, huh? I'm out here on Belle Isle and totally, totally feeling cool. Had a bad morning. But anyway, I wanted to share with you all a little bit um, of an experience that I've had. Uh, let me see if I can switch this around. But anyway, maybe not. So this is an amethyst ring, right? But this is my marriage ring to sell. You know how people are like hoping if they haven't already met their twin flame? Well, me as an old soul, an ancient soul, right? My lifetime here is to master thyself. And, upon, and a part of mastering myself means that it's all about the inner self the inner workings and not anything external. So long story short, um, we all, you know, would long for or desire for a mate or whatnot. And I'm 49, going on 50 this year, and I'm still like, well, what's up, right? So as I realized, like, what the hell? And so I realized that this desire that I was having, I was having it for myself. I have been without my whole self for eons of lifetimes. And so in this life, I came to find me and finding me, I found my twin flame. I found me and now I am whole. I know a lot of people like, what the, that doesn't make sense. Your twin flame is your other half. Yeah, did you hear what you just said? Your other half, you're your other half. And that's what makes you whole, not another person but the other you is what makes you whole. And so in me finding my, and meeting my, and connecting with my twin flame, which is meeting me for the first time in a long time and being made whole. I'm in love with the love of God that is my love, that is in me and through me as me. And so I share that with you, that this is a deeper level of self-love, right? So now, it's just about who's going to show up to be my divine mate and unite with in this life because I am my twin and I have united and our flame is burning. Peace, love, namaste.